So this little GPS module will save your quad and bring it back home when it fail safes. It is the HGLRC's M80 GPS module for FPV racers with GLONASS, Galileo, QZSS, SBAS, and BDS GPS receiving formats. It has 72 receiving channels and it supports baud rates up to 115,200 bits per second. Input voltage is 5 volts. Output protocol is U-blocks and it comes wrapped in a clear heat shrink just like here. It has a ceramic antenna on one side and the circuitry on the other side. And here it is next to the Bayesian BN220 GPS module on the left. So as you can see, the HGLRC's M80 is a tiny bit smaller in size than the BN220. The BN220 has the circuit board kind of sticking out on the side a little bit. But as you can see from the side view, the M80 has twice the thickness on the ceramic antenna than the BN220 but the surface area is just about the same. And the measurements are 19.0 millimeters and 19.0 millimeters. So it's a square and the thickest point of the module is where the receiving harness is at. It is 9.0 millimeters. So here are both of the GPS modules without their wiring harnesses. The Bayesian BN220 will come in at about 5 grams. And the M80 with the heat shrink on it will come in at 8 grams. The M80 comes with a 4 wire wiring harness and installation is very easy. The red wire is the 5 volt wire and the black wire is the ground. The white wire this will be the RX wire. This will go to a TX pad on an empty UART. And the yellow wire is the TX wire. That will go to a RX pad on the same empty UART. Now you can place the GPS module somewhere. The ceramic antenna is facing up and clear of obstruction. Here I have it installed on my Emax Hawk 5 just zip tied to the arm with double sided sticky tape in between. Now once you have everything set up you will need to go into Betaflight and in the ports tab corresponding to the UART that you have soldered on the RX and the TX wire to and under the sensor input column turn on GPS and set the baud rate to 115200. And in the configuration tab, if you scroll down, you will need to turn on GPS, put the protocol on U blocks, and here I have the auto baud rate turned on, as well as the auto config turned on as well. And that seems to be working out for me. And here in the fail safe tab, instead of having your quadcopter to drop in case of a fail safe, and if you want GPS rescue, go ahead and turn on. GPS rescue and you can set all of the parameters to your liking here and here in the modes tab You will need to configure a switch so you can flick a switch for GPS rescue in my case I have it set to auxiliary 5 on a switch at the top of that switch and Here in the OSD menu you can set all of the functionality to be displayed such as GPS latitude, GPS longitude, which I did not turn on. I have the GPS satellites, the GPS speed, the home direction, the home distance all turned on. And in the post flight statistics, I have turned on maximum altitude. I have turned on maximum home distance and also the maximum speed. And here in the CLI tab, go ahead and type in get space GPS. And all of the GPS parameters will show up. Now we've already set our parameters in the failsafe tab. 
but there is one parameter that I like to change in the CLI GPS parameters and that will be the GPS rescue minimum distance by default it is set to 100 this is when you flick that switch or if you get a fail safe within 100 meters the GPS rescue will not work or the fail safe rescue will not work so some of you might have tried it out and tested out the GPS fail safe rescue on a switch and you weren't away more than 100 meters well if you flick that switch within 100 meters your quadcopter will just drop to the ground so you need to be away more than 100 meters for your GPS rescue to work as well as the fail safe rescue so I have decreased the default value to 50 so my GPS rescue will work as soon as I cross beyond that 50 meter distance as well as my fail safe rescue and here we are out in the field taking off with nine satellites now I have it set to a minimum of five satellites so anything above it I am able to arm and take off but anything below five satellites it will not arm it's a safety feature and also you should verify that the home arrow is pointing to where it took off from every time you take off with a GPS quadcopter just to verify that it is accurate so on the left there is the satellite count the altitude the speed and the distance away from home and on the top my usual OSD stuff so here we go away from the home point and flicking the GPS rescue switch it is coming back home all by itself notice the throttle is at zero and flicking the switch back to retake controls now it will not land itself so you will need to retake control rescue non available due to low satellite count okay we are good now okay once again going away from ourselves and Flicking that a GPS rescue switch, throw to zero, and coming home. Retake controls. There you go, working really nice. Arrow still pointing to home. One more time. Flicking the switch, zero throttle, there we go, and coming home. Descending, and flicking the switch, and retake controls. Working really nice. Oh, satellite count fluctuating. And now it's back to 11 satellites. So next, we'll test out the fail-safe GPS rescue. But first, we'll come in and land it to change out the battery and also check out the post-flight statistics. We'll, we'll be able to see the speed, the distance, and the altitude. There we go. 69 meters altitude, 76 kilometers for speed, and maximum distance, 207 meters. All right, taking off with 13 satellites and verifying the home location with the home direction arrow. and it is looking good all right so going away from home and we shall cruise towards this location and usually when i fly towards this location it is on the return trip that i get a fail safe so we shall see if it will work for us today and as you can see 
the home direction arrow is pointing right behind us. And we are hitting the 300 meters. We'll go as far as we can. Now on a normal basis with an XM plus receiver, I won't go this far, but with a GPS module, no fear. Right, 500 meters. Six hundred meters. Not bad video for a dipole antenna, huh? Okay, seven hundred meters. Fail safe, not kicking in yet. Eight hundred meters. And eight fifty. Nine hundred meters. Still not kicking in. I'm going to go ahead and turn around at about 950 meters. Sometimes it is on the turnaround that fail safes, but not today. So here we go on the return trip. I'll go a little lower to facilitate the fail safe, but oh, I get massive amount of static here. So I'll go back up to about 40 meters here and 50 meters it is right about here that i normally get a fail save i don't know why and here you go fail safe rx loss fail safe and fail safe rescue kicks in nice coming back home all by itself so in the latest firmware in beta flight the quad cutter will come all the way home so in order to retake controls you will need to move the pitch stick to take back controls. So I'll wait until we're right above us and move the pitch stick. And there we go. Nice. Retook controls. Very nice. Working just fantastic. All right. So that'll do it for this video of the HGLRC M80 GPS module with the GPS rescue feature as well as the fail-safe GPS rescue. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Stay safe and fly safe, everybody. And we shall see you again next time.